Anytime I need to see a piece, I just close my eyes And I'm taken to a place where a crystal mind A magenta beam Let's take up shelter in the face of my spine Shit like a chicken cherry cola I don't need to try to explain I just hold on tight And if it happens again, I'ma move so slightly To the arms and the lips and the face Of the human mechanical that I need to I want you Ooh, I want you I don't know if I need you right. Ooh, I Dan Radio Style. Hope everybody out there's enjoying themselves. Uh, doing a quick one here. Hopefully quick. We'll see. We'll <laughs> see how that hour plays out. Uh, quick and me just oftentimes are challenged. Uh, Savage Garden right there. Uh, I Want You was the name of that song. Coming in with, uh, well, I'm doing double Savage Garden on this one just because. And then I actually did research on uh, a, a song that maybe was popular in Australia because I think a, a nice amount of my audience right now is down there. Uh, so there happened to be another Savage Garden song that uh, I'm going to be going out with that apparently is pretty darn famous in the uh, your neck of the woods. But Savage Garden is pretty funny. Uh, nice little oxymoron on that, right? Savage and Garden, like, ooh, unless you got like a Venus flytrap that is truly just menacing. You know, like the or Little Shop of Horrors. There was a, there was a savage plant. Anyways. So uh, all this uh, letting go stuff has been a big thing and um, for a lot of reasons. And I still consider it to be a powerful thing, but I, I also want to let people know, too, there's not this, this, we just let go forever. We get signs. That's kind of why we do it. We get out of our own way and we see what shows itself. Because in that absence of us getting in our way and being loud and constantly transmitting and, you know, constantly being like energetic or what we'd call sun energy uh, is uh, in the spiritual ways. Like when you're always doing something to try to manifest quickly, sometimes it's good to step back for a moment and receive or see what comes in. When you put things out there enough, um, when certainly... Uh, like it's like they've said, it's us pushed out. And we're going to get back into that subject, but let's just kind of keep it a little more generic for the moment. But when we get in a little more of a receiving energy, we start to see things show themselves that we've been working on. Now, everything we think, say, and do, all of our focus creates things in reality. So there might be other issues that we're not necessarily paying as much attention to right now because we're trying to manifest our specific someone. Um, but when we sit back and kind of let things show themselves, we sometimes will find a little more balance in life because sometimes we get so fixated on manifesting one thing that we leave other parts of our lives out of the mix. Those parts of our lives are important as well, so it's good to kind of pay attention to everything that's happening. It's good to sometimes sit back and smell the roses a little bit and see what is being shown to us. So, there is the it's us pushed out. So yes, uh, I, I get, I have had a couple comments where it was kind of like, well, if anything happens synchronistically, then it's obviously because you've done all this law of attraction and it's just us pushed out. And since we've done the work, then we're just seeing um, basically the, the fruits of our labor. I completely agree with that 100%. It doesn't mean any less of it. In fact, I think to the opposite, it actually shows us that this thing is becoming more and more solidified. Essentially, all manifestations begin from light or from energy or from the heart or whatever the case is, but they really stem from more of a spirit and work out towards nature. That's why we just basically imagine from, because now we're letting higher self slash whatever source is, right? Uh, it, it, be it ourselves pushed out or be it uh, if there is a higher power or if that's them manifest, right? So it works through that mechanism. I'm, this is what I would like to experience. Okay, cool. That's what's going to happen. So yes, by putting that energy out there, it signifies that that is actually in my humble understanding of how this works in all of the places where I have managed to manifest things, the, the way that it works is you see the evidence after you've done the imagination. Uh, Anya and I even talked about this on our one of our, I think it was towards probably the last episode that we did on our last one. But you, you, rec you put out, basically you do the imagining work, so you're imagining from that location, and then you get your first synchronicity. That's actually because of the work you've done. And it's also, again, an indicator that what you are trying to create is happening. And if you give it time and keep doing the work, we'll get back into that point too, it will totally come to manifestation. So the reason why I think the letting go process, and I called it a tool and I still call it a tool, is so important. Because when you're in those moments where it feels like it's taken forever and you keep doing the work and you keep trying to do it and you keep trying to do it and you keep trying to do it, 
and nothing's happening. And what typically happens, and if you pay a lot of attention to yourself when if you're in that situation, you'll notice that a lot of times you're doing the work and then throughout the day you're like, why hasn't this happened yet? Why hasn't this happened yet? Is this not working? Does law of attraction not work? Is this technique I'm using not going to work? Um, it's law of attraction and the concepts of it, the Neville Goddard aspect of it for sure, is very basic and it works perfectly and beautifully. And I've talked about in a, another show where sometimes maybe it doesn't work for the two paths we're on in our lives, maybe our spiritual path, maybe it doesn't. Right. I mean, you got to you can't. It's not I don't know. I haven't had 100 percent accuracy. I haven't. I've had really, really good success. And generally speaking, I've gotten everything I've ever sought. Uh, When it's come to relationships, I would say those are the times where I've been dogged the most, where I've gone after people that I really, really cared about and it didn't work out. And in some cases, I was able to find out later down the road that, you know, they, they went off in a totally different direction. Something crazy happened in their life. They ended up with five kids like why? Like, wow. You know, like it's so. There's times where I, I realized why I didn't get what I was after. Um, and there's been a lot of times I've accomplished like exactly what I was after. And so it hasn't been 100%. I don't know if it is. I don't know. I, I, I would be hesitant to think it is 100% all the time because I think there are times where our conscious mind for where we're at right now in our lives, right? You know, three weeks from now, something could happen significant in my life that would alter the way I think and look at the world forever. Like, you know, there are life-changing events, and many of us actually have a few of them in our lives, right? Like, things will happen. You'll be like, oh my God, I never saw the world the same, or traveling is like that for a lot of people. You never see the world the same. So that same kind of concept could happen in three weeks, but if I made the decision right now, I'd make a decision based off of what I know right now. And my higher self's like, no, no, no. Not giving this to you, at least right now. I'm going to give you three weeks. We're going to let something else happen. And then we're going to see what you decide at that point. So it's not that you can't. It's just sometimes there's a larger thing at work. Sometimes there's more to it that as you move down the road, you are going to gain some extra information or... In the case of specific someone's, another scenario, sometimes by us just like kind of just knowing that the process is working and getting out of the way, letting go, allows other people to take a step towards us when we've been taking so many steps because we're doing all this work. So I'm taking additional steps towards them, and that almost energetically can start to feel imposing, strong. You're putting off a lot of energy, and if you do it over and over, it's like hitting that frequency, and it's like a laser in it, you know, like, that can be too much energy for people sometimes. I wanted to remind everyone, and Anya and I talked about this, and I still think this is a really awesome story of hers. She saw that she has this black and white shirt, or whatever the heck, black and white striped or something, all right? And she's like, ah, it'd really be cool if they had this in other colors. And she might have been looking online or whatever, but it'd be really cool if they had this in other colors. That was it. Let it go. She never thought about it again. A week later, she's like on a walk or something, and uh, that shirt in a different color, one of the ones she wanted anyways, was hanging on the wall. There you go. There's your answer. So again, yeah, it's us pushed out, but I want to do a separate show on kind of some of the fuzziness in that whole us pushed out thing. And someone made a comment on one of my videos recently that I actually thought was pretty solid. I was very, very impressed with that take on what that kind of means, and I sort of agree. And so anyway, I'm going to try to get some thoughts together and do a show that kind of talks about that conceptually, because without a doubt, it is us pushed out, but it doesn't take away from the fact that someone else is almost just reflecting us more than us. Like, they're not... Anyway, I'll do a show on it. I've got some interesting scenarios that I think most of us have been through. We'll be like, "Oh, I see what you're kind of saying." So I've kind of some of this is spelled out, but nah, want to don't you know? I want to do it justice and do the right music. And it's another show. Hello. <laughs> anyway, Anya's found that shirt doing very little work to do it. It doesn't take a lot of effort. It's not that it's not happening because you're not doing enough effort. In fact, it's probably more to the contrary. A lot of the times, again, we're, it's the sponsoring thought behind the action. If the sponsoring thought behind me doing the action more, manifesting, imagining from more often, right? Like I feel like I'm not doing it enough. I'm doing it every single day, and I may be doing it 10, 20, 30 minutes a day, but it must not be working because I am not having it yet. I don't have it. So do you, I hope you just heard it. Let me say it again. It must not be working. Mm-hmm. Because I don't currently have it. Ah, Two negatives. Bam. There you go. That's why it's not working. 
Because every time you send out a positive, you kick it sideways with two negatives and you take you step forward two steps back. It's yours to have. But sometimes, and that's what the concept to me of letting go is, is you get out of your own way. You get in more of a receiving end. You see things happen. You see synchronicities. You get that surety, that, 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 that like, I'm certain of this. You get that back. You realize, holy crud, I've already put out a lot of effort, and here it is. It is here in front of me, and it feels really good when I think of it. And now it's less torturous. Now it's less frustrating. And so then go back to doing your work if you'd like. Keep doing it, knowing it's happening. It's in process. These things are in the works. Keep imagining from. It's in the works. If you get to that place where you're getting all negative on yourself again, it's taking too long, then let go again. Do it again. You're not being mean by doing it. Don't be like angry with the person. Don't be like, I hate you, and then that's how I'm going to let go. No, just, I'm not going to think about this. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to imagine my home or, you know, whatever. Think of something else for a week or two or three or whatever. Stop worrying about it, and you will see things happen. And if not, you maybe will see another door open. Sometimes when a door closes, another opens. That's a very awesome adage that's correct in some cases. So sometimes, again, getting out of our own way and just like, okay, I'm open universe to whatever you have to show me kind of attitude. From there, you will find your answers. And it might be right back with your specific someone. Might be another open door. Hell, it might be a crazy window that you're seeing down there. You're like, eh, 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 eh. I'm going to check that out. Give it a chance. Don't make it impossible on yourself. And again, if you're shooting yourself with two negatives after every positive, you're going backwards. Stop. Stop. Just get out of your way for a minute. Let go for a moment. Just stop. Seriously, you're killing yourself. You're doing it right. You're doing all the stuff right. Except then you use the same principle against yourself by saying, ah, I'm not good enough. This isn't happening. It's not happening fast enough. Well, you're, now you're telling the universe this isn't happening fast enough. Okay. Uh, that's what I'll give you then. Slow it down. Just imagine from it. Let the universe work it out. Let, that's not your problem to work out all the details. Let the universe do it. you got to be open to possibilities. You know, I've, I've got people that are like, ah, I'm trying to manifest this person being back in my life. And then they show up in the same location. And they're like, yeah, but I wasn't ready to talk to them. It's like, ah, okay, well, you're manifesting what you're after. Maybe you need to be more specific. Right? I'm like, so, sometimes we, I've, I've manifested things and I'm like, okay, that is what I asked for. Uh, it's not what I wanted. <laughs> let me, let me rephrase. Let me define this a little better and then pop that out to the universe. And then I've gotten, you know, version B and it's like, all right, whew, much better. Version A, I just, I just, yeah, I was just like, ah, yeah, pay. you know, and that's what came to me. I, I, I wish I could come up with a good um, example other than people, which isn't cool. I don't think to talk <laughs> about people, but I've definitely manifested girlfriends where it was like, Ooh, no, um, this is, this is missing things that it needs to have. And I, I just thought X, Y, and Z needed to be there, and that funk turns out there's a few letters missing. Anywho. All right, so, yeah, I think I covered all the stuff the, that I wanted to go into the show. Um, I hope you guys kind of get what I'm saying. Um, again, by all means, I, a specific someone's totally a thing you have, you get. This is, this is our goal. I'm there with you. We're on the same train. I just had um, a couple major coincidences just yesterday. Again, it's it's happening. You know, these things are happening. I don't know what speed don't care anymore. I truly don't. At this point, I've like, I think that's another good piece of attitude, but we'll worry about that for another show as well. But frankly, right now, I don't, I don't care. I truly don't care. If I'm wrong, I will happily tell each and every one of you. Um, and if I'm right, I'm going to tell each and every one of you, but I don't care anymore. I've let go of any, uh, any ego part to this, if you will. And now it's just like, all right, I'm really curious what's down this road. I, I, the level of care is just off the charts. So there, I have to do this. I, there's no question. I've tried not to in a number of cases. It's not working. Hasn't worked. Uh, and it's just caused more confusion and frustration. And the only times I've really ever felt good is when I've just embraced this path and gone with it. That's my case. I don't know how it is for everybody else. But in my case, it's like nothing else feels right. And this is the like I've said, this is kind of a spiritual journey for me in a lot of ways. And it is the love I have for her that is allowing me to do this. Uh, and I know when it works out in the end, and I, I, it's funny as I was thinking the other day and I realized it's, it's the same for her. It's the love she has for me that 
is allowing her to act. We're totally doing something that neither one of us, <laughs> it's not correct. <laughs> it's just not right. But we're that one tiny percentage, I guess. I don't know. Whatever the case is. It's a, it's a, it's a fun trip. It's an interesting journey. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Dan Radio Style. If you'd like to contact me, feel free to do so at Spirit Radio Dan Style. Oh no, it's not that one anymore. It's Dan Radio Style at gmail.com. There you go. Sorry. Dan Radio Style at gmail.com. The other one's a real email, but it's just, I don't know. It's kind of more the business email. Uh, anywho, uh, and we're going out with another Savage Garden song. This one is called Truly Madly Deeply. It's apparently popular. I'll be your hope, I'll be your love, be everything that you need 